What's up everybody? This is some big news. Figma just released an official MCP server that allows things like Cursor and Windsurf to directly interface with it and most importantly, accurately translate your Figma layouts into working code. This is a big deal because this is the first time I've seen a tool that's accurately been able to do this. So here's how it works. Essentially, the first thing you wanna do is in your choice of uh, AI code editor, I'm using Cursor, you wanna make sure you are set up correctly with the MCP server. This is a, a one and done sort of thing. So essentially, what we wanna do is click open project, go to your code folder, wherever you store your code projects. I'm gonna create a new one called Figma uh, test here and then hit select folder. And you wanna come up here to chat settings and MCP, click, and if you don't see Figma down there, click add custom MCP, and you wanna make sure Figma right here, URL is enabled, right there. And then you, once you save that, go back to cursor settings and hit refresh, and you should have access now to Figma. Okay. Now, the other part that you have to make sure is Figma itself, you wanna make sure it's enabled. So open up any project. Here I have grid layout. This is the layout we are gonna create. And we're going to come over here, go to preferences, and then make sure enable dev mode MCP server is enabled. That's all you have to do. Two steps, that's it. So the next part is very important. This is about your layout. You can't just design a layout without auto layout, without variables or styles applied, because then you're really not passing much context. You're going to reduce the chances of, you know, pixel perfect success. So here's how this essentially works. Um, I've utilized auto layout everywhere I can possibly. Um, and I've also utilized some other things here such as wherever there are colors, like for instance, the background color of the, the white frame container right here, it says UI background color, that is a variable. So if I undo this, this is what you, you know, typically might see if you're not using styles or variables, we click on it and you can click plus to add a new variable like this and you just switch to variable tab and just name it something or go to libraries and then you could see UI background color, I've already defined that. There we go, that is now tied to a variable. So colors, use variables everywhere. Additionally, you wanna make sure that if you have font sizes, fonts themselves, the font family, uh, and also numeric values such as padding uh, in white space, like margin and padding, you wanna make sure that those are tied to variables as well. Additionally, naming your layers can be helpful and they are super helpful. For instance, this is the new grid feature. When I initially ran this through, I didn't have them named at all. Like, you know, it's just frame, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, it it kind of mixed and matched these grid cells uh, when I ran it through. So what I decided to do is to pass the context of, you know, through the layer names of where each of the grid items should, should uh, place. So like row one, two, so this is row one, row two, uh, and then column one, that's that grid item. And when you tell it to look at the names, it's going to help get this knocked out as cleanly as possible. So if I drag this window in and out, you'll see that it's all you know, set up in auto layout both ways. I, I have a min uh, width right there, height rather. So once you have that, then you just simply select the frame. In this case, I'm gonna select the entire you know, frame that comprises of the whole layout and then you switch to cursor. So make sure that is selected because it has to pass that context to the MCP server. And so now what we do is I'll close these out and this is where we enter the actual prompt and it doesn't have to be that detailed. So agent, I'm in agent mode and I'm using Claude for Sonnet. So the actual prompt, I'm going to specify something like I uh, take the selected frame in Figma and con uh, convert it to a website layout using t HTML and Tailwind CSS. Use the grid or the layer names in the grid to structure the grid items. Okay, let's see if it works. All right, I'll help you convert the selected Figma frame, blah, blah, blah. It's calling the MCP tool. That's the way you know this is actually working. So let's see if it works. It may not be perfect at first. You may have to issue some follow-up prompts. That's okay, that's not that big of a deal. It's generating the index.html. 
All right, you can see all the grid column uh, stuff right here, and it is done. It's gonna go ahead and give me an overview real quick. If I right click, open with live server, you may need the live server extension, it's free. Um, we'll see what it did. All right, here it is. So let me take it out of full screen mode. It might not be quite responsive, um, and that's okay, we can tell it to me. Oh, it actually is responsive, and it knew to center it automatically, and that's why the um, actual auto layout and all your settings and, and understanding how to use auto layout is super, super important. And this is it, this is actually pretty solid because if I switch back to the actual Figma design, take a mental note of this, it's very, very close. Obviously it's not pulling in the image, we can you know, import that image ourselves and tell it to use it via prompt. And there we go, overall it did a really good job. If we look at this, I mean, this is a really big deal. So this is the first time I used it this morning. There's obviously a lot more tests. You know, how does it deal with responsive behavior? Like if I had a secondary frame and said, hey, this is the tablet version, I still wanna experiment with that. How does it respond to perhaps prototype interaction animations? There's a lot more to learn about this. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be creating a whole new, brand new comprehensive Figma course that covers all this stuff as well as all the recent tools that came out, such as Figma Make, um, and the branding elements they have, the Figma Draw, et cetera. So definitely check out designcourse.com and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.